Hello, this is Sally from Launch Code, and today we are going to finish up our Hello ASP.NET application and we are going to continue working with views. In our last video, we added a view to our application called index.cshtml and we added the HTML from the index action method in Hello Controller to that view. We have one other action method left in Hello Controller and that is welcome, so we are going to add a view for the welcome action method that view is going to be responsible for displaying the welcome message. So to get started, I need to add another view to my helloasp.net application. I can just right click on my hello folder, add a new file, MVC view page, and this time I'm going to name it welcome. This is the view for the welcome action method, so we're going to name it after that method. Great. So now we have a new view and we're going to go back to Hello Controller and modify the action method to make use of view bag and one of the properties of view bag. So I'm just going to take out this one line of code here. Welcome to my app. And we're going to use view bag. And the properties of view bag are something you can name. So I'm going to name mine person because that makes sense to me. So viewbag.person equals the value inside of name. So whenever someone fills out this form and let's say they put in the name Tilly, the value of name is going to be Tilly. So viewbag.person equals Tilly. And I just need to add one more line to this. I need to return something. So return view. We named our view after the action method, so we don't have to include anything else beyond just return view. I need to save this, and we're gonna head over to the welcome view, and we're gonna add some code. So to get started with that, the first thing I'm gonna do here is add a conditional in case the value of viewbag.person is an empty string or it's null, we wanna make sure that it's still saying welcome world. And I can just use the at sign and then we're gonna say view bag dot person null or an empty string. And I'm gonna use H1s for this. So just H1 welcome world. And then I can hit tab here and it's going to finish the closing tag for me. There we go. I do want to add an else to this if else because we have an if here and that if has the at sign, we don't need to add an at sign onto the else. We can just do that and we need some brackets. And this is where I want to use whatever the value of viewbag.person is. So we'll start out with that same H1 welcome and then the value inside of viewbag.person whatever that name is one exclamation point all right so this is all we need to make the welcome view happen so i just need to save this file and run my application Here we go. I'm going to navigate over to localhost 5001 slash hello to see the form. I still have layout equal to null, so no header and footer here, but our view for the welcome action method will have the header and footer because we did not set layout equal to null there. So let's just fill it out. Tilly, greet me, wonderful. Now, what I did with that if else statement, if I submitted an empty value through the form, then it should just say welcome world. So we'll go back. And I'm not going to fill anything out here. I'm just going to hit greet me. Welcome world. Congratulations, everyone. That is helloasp.net, and we will see you in future videos.